to Edward. Where are we today? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Jimmy Does Germany. So today's video, where are we? So what you can see in the background, we're actually in um, in a town called Weinheim. Um, so we come to visit a place called oh yeah, Borgruin uh, Vindeck. So um, yeah, one of the subscribers, thank you very much, I'd like to say thank you very much in advance, um, recommended this place. So I thought, well, okay, we've got some free time today, we come and check it out. So we're up here, we're going to check out this castle and then uh, we're going to head down afterwards for a second video. We're going to head down to the small town down there, the Marktplatz. So um, it's also a really old um, market town, um, really pretty actually, and it's got a lot of history. So we're going to jump down to that for, for another video as well, um, if the weather holds out. So today um, we're coming to visit Vindeg. And it's got a lot of great history about it. It's like this area here is 28 meters high. So the actual keep of the place. And we're going to go in there in a bit. So at the moment, um, it's only for people to go in to, to order food and stuff. But we just spoke with the owners and, and they said that we can have a walk around and do some filming. So it's pretty cool. So a little bit of history about this building here. So um, there you go. It was in the year uh, 1009. Uh, 1109 sorry uh, built and literally within a few years so in 1114 um, the place was was destroyed okay and, and then a few years later like 10 11 years later it was built again and uh, but over the years this place has been absolutely destroyed so um, yeah I think we're gonna try and go in this area here and we'll walk up and have a little look around that's interesting this area here that's a well and it's like 25 meters deep and literally two meters from the bottom, two meters from the bottom, uh, it actually has like a, an escape route that goes out to the east side of the castle. And uh, yeah, so that will go out to the back there. And also this castle here, it says, um, here we go. So, so several, several villages were responsible um, to supply the castle and also the troops um, so I suppose that pretty much means financially with food and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven villages from around this area were responsible for supplying this castle. Cool. So let's jump up and uh, hey Edward, <laughs> let's take a walk. Hello. Good day. So the history actually says about this place here is that uh, the original entrance, so the very very first entrance that was built like what, 900 years ago. Um, it was a really small entrance and it actually required a ladder to get into the main entrance. But this place has been destroyed so many times. It was destroyed in the 30 year war. Um, it was also destroyed in the seven year war. And this area, this whole region here, it was all part of like the French empire and stuff. In the, in the late 1800s, there was also a huge war between uh, what was known as Prussia at the time and hey, what was known as Prussia at the time and, uh, and the French Empire. And that, that was also just down the road here, so all around this region. So let's take a look at this entrance. So the keep is 28 meters tall. And this tower here is absolutely huge it's massive so the food smells really good actually we're gonna go in and uh, have a little walk around so come on edward so for those of you that uh, want to come and visit enjoy a beer and some food take a look around oh sorry okay. Come in, Edward. Oh wow. It's great that, that places are still used uh, for people's enjoyment. So, come on, Edward. So, of course, it's the original outer walls. What I want to show you the way the inside has been constructed here. Has been turned into the restaurant. 
So, Edward, sit. Stay. Stay. Okay. All of this stonework here. No, it's beautiful. The way all the roof. Hello, all is good. Ja, mach mir nichts, oder? Nee, 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 alles gut. Ja, the way the, the roof is all uh, curved around here. It's wonderful. So you can imagine just sitting down here in the afternoon, a big table of uh, people uh, enjoying the atmosphere here, I suppose, having a good meal. Cool. I'm definitely going to come back. Definitely. So. Wow. You're such a good lad, Edward. Come here. So what I want to show you is this. This well was discovered. So it's hundreds and hundreds of years old. But you can't actually see down it in the moment. So this is the well they would have had. So I think they've got 600 that's been on there. You can see that, of course, you have a hook, so they would have hung the bucket down on here. They would have dropped the bucket all the way down through the well, and it goes down 25 meters, like we said. I think it's awesome that that's also an escape route. So, literally two meters from the bottom of this well, and then it, it's a little hole, it moves off to the side, and it takes them out the back of this castle here as an escape of an emergency escape. So we're, we're quite quite limited actually to where we can walk to. Um, yeah, of course, because of the situation that we're in at the moment. Okay, so the tower is going to be, uh, is still closed because of this issue here, of course. But that would be, that would have been a great view to have. But what we can do, we can head over to the other side. Take a look at the size of those windows up there. How thick the walls are. It's probably, probably looking at one and a half meters. Probably one and a half meters. I would say of thickness. I wonder if that was to support all of the ceiling, the actual old ceiling style. Ah, oh, the Fackwerk. It might have been. Uh, we've seen a lot of the castles. Probably that was all full of wood, maybe until it was renovated again. So, let's go and have a view over here. There's the old town Weinheim, that's where we're going to go down later and take a look at the Marktplatz. You can also see how old some of those buildings are still. Over there's the mountain ranges to Fouts. And Mannheim is located up there. Frankfurt would be up in this direction here. Again, you can look at how, how thick these walls are. My, my fingers are not, aren't even long enough. So again, it's probably one and a half meters. Nuts, absolute crazy. But I love how all of the roofs are pretty much in orange, an orange tile. Wonderful. So it's a shame we can't really see much today. So we're definitely gonna have to come back another time. You can see the whole architecture there. I suppose that would have been an old accommodation. Again, it doesn't really look like there's a huge amount of entrance into this building, but you can see all of the stonework around all the, the sandstone. So all of the stone from the local area. 
how the corner of the building would have all been bricked up. Okay. <laughs> it's a shame we can't get up there. That would have been great. Be able to tour and then walk around the top there. But I suppose if we come back later, after all of this Corona stuff is passed, then we'll be able to get up there and have a good tour. Yeah, so this place is what? Middle 11th, 12th, 12th century. It's mad. <laughs> it's really crazy. But I suppose that would have been also a walkway for the guards. They would have been able to walk the way around that tower. where we want to go as well also there's another little castle up on the top there but that castle that's up on the top there that was built in uh, um, literally only just over 100 years ago so it's still pretty <laughs> new in terms of castles but uh, yeah I think we're gonna get up there this, this town uh, it's known as Zweibergen so the two castles uh, the town of the two castles the outer Zweibergen Stad or something like this and uh, yeah, there's lots to see around here. It's amazing. It really is amazing. But hey, Edward, let's take a walk around the side. Take a look at what the view, the view of what, what that tower would have had. So all of this outside wall here, all of the protection. It would have added a little bit of resistance, but I think it's crazy that all of this, all of this was destroyed several times over, over its history and it's rebuilt several times as well and uh, if you remember a video which I shot just a couple of weeks ago um, it was uh, visiting a medieval castle so it was a small it was a small castle that was just hidden away in a forest and that castle is not far from here and, and that never had any <laughs> there we go I'll show you something in a minute that castle never had any warlike uh, damage so it was never damaged and it was literally just half an hour from here and this place here has been just destroyed over and over rebuilt over and over but this ladies and gentlemen is that's that's a medieval toilet <laughs> that's where everything would have just dropped down you can see, you can still see all the staining on the wall. Yeah. So you would have had guards for over hundreds of years sat up there just yeah, taking a moment. That's how medieval this castle is. <laughs> come on in, Edward. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Oh, you're not stuck, it's only the lead. I know you're not used to it. Come on in. <laughs> That's such a funny dog. That's pretty beautiful. So this, this was, would have been when we was inside and I said, oh yeah, let's take, take a look at, take a look at the glass. That would have been all of the, the windows that we saw from the inside of the building. Spectacular. And then this is the east side, so that's the direction that the tunnel would have gone to escape. All of this area here that you see, that's the Audenwald. So another mountain range. So can you imagine trying to attack this place? If he was coming back in the days, you'd have to 
try and get all of your equipment up here, up on the mountain. And then you'll have to get it over this wall here. And then once you're onto this flat area, they would have had to fight a battle as well. They probably would have been coming under attack from archers. Then they'll, they'll probably be dropping rocks and stones out of windows and stuff from up there. Any sort of any sort of defense. Probably fighting, fighting with panic to try and hold this building. And uh, every time. Edward, come on. So Edward, what do you think about this place? Yeah, so it's a little bit different. It's a shame, again, um, you couldn't be able to, to take a real good look around. So, because of the situation with the doors being closed and locked and, and stuff because of Corona. But yeah, cool. <laughs> Interesting, just trying to. Uh, hey, you, come on. It's pretty cool trying to uh, figure out the actual history of what was happening here, how life would have been at that time. So, at least they had good weather. <laughs> the climate in this region is fantastic. At least they would have had good weather. Okay, people. Um, thank you, thank you for for the comments from the subscribers, and. Uh, yeah, if it wasn't for the comments that was placed um, or uh, the communications and the conversations and stuff that we're having, um, probably wouldn't have, have made this video today or, or been here or visited this place. So uh, yeah, I'm really glad I did. I'm gonna come back and uh, try and take a meal here uh, to help the community. And uh, yeah, it looked really cool in there with the arched roofs and stuff like that. That was really cool. So uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is so far one of the most destroyed, rebuilt, destroyed, rebuilt, destroyed, rebuilt uh, castles that I've visited so far. Pretty cool. Awesome. Okay. And uh, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to try and get up to that place now. And then after that place, trying to get down to the market square if we can. It's whoever holds out. Okay, people. Take it easy. Say bye-bye, Edward. <laughs> ciao, ciao.